Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Rock and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season one, episode 13 of Pokemon Indigo League called Mystery at the Lighthouse. So we start off with their loss again. This is a recurring theme on the show, which I kind of think is funny. And <clears throat> basically, Ash basically <clears throat> tried to catch a crab because the fog cleared and it turns out they're at a beach. So Ash wanted to crab to catch a Krabby. So what he does was he actually managed to catch it without anyone else's help because Pikachu is like, mm, no thank you because this Krabby was granted kind of small. And basically when he, and he did manage to catch it, but um, a weird thing is that um, after he caught it, the Pokeball disappeared. And then Misty gets told that, um, tells him that only, you're only allowed to have six Pokemon at a time. So, uh, Ag um, so Ash gloats a lot. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm, I'm so great, and blah, 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 but he's actually being kind of dumb, because he doesn't even know that, and I feel like he shouldn't have known that at the very beginning. So, anyway, Misty and Brock uh, bring, him, bring him down his ego, and they end up at the beach. Oh, I already said all this mess. <laughs> so, Ash wants to call Professor Oak, and sees a lighthouse. And so, a, a voice lets them in, and <clears throat> basically, Ash calls Professor Oak, and basically, we found out that, I you know, Ash has called only seven Pokemon, but Gary has called 45, as his Krabby is so much bigger, it's ridiculous. We found out the guy named is Bill, and when he... Um, introduces himself. He's in a Caputo costume, which freaks them out, but they realize, oh wait, he's stuck in that suit and it's been there for like seven hours. And he's been in that suit because he was trying to learn, understand how, how Caputo's work because they're supposedly extinct as of this, you know, as of the present. Then we get to where Team Rocket is there and they're climbing up the cliff and they're like, James Slate, why are we climbing up the cliff for? Meowth is. One of them asked. And the um, others ask, say, it's like, it's the villain way, duh. <laughs> and <clears throat> so we cut to where Ash helps them out. And basically this guy, Bill, teaches about Pokemon. And then we cut to Team Rocket again, climbing up the cliff. Then we cut to where Bill's searching for the biggest Pokemon he's ever seen and plays a clip. And it basically sounds like um, whale sounds, but it's not a whale. And he thinks it means, I want to meet you. And so it answered back. So basically he's been doing this off and on for nights and like for God knows how long. And so he sends a signal back and actually it replied back while they're there. And it turns out it's coming to see them. And basically it looks like a huge Dragonite. A huge Dragonite. And so, um, T-Rocket managed to mess it up, and basically, they try to catch it, but that was a massive, colossal fail. And basically, uh, the Dragonite destroys the lighthouse, and sends T-Rocket flying off. But Bill's still optimistic, and still wants to research and try to find that Pokemon, because we don't see it, because it's just a silhouette, but it's a Dragonite. Just saying. <laughs> but it's like the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. On the show. <laughs> then we cut to where Team Rocket is still scheming and basically, <laughs> let's see, they are still, they're proud of it. And anyway, so anyway, Bill and Ash and Misty, and Bro, they say goodbye to Bill and they're, they go on their merry way. So I give this one an A plus because we get to um, see we get to see another character and how Pokemon are there's a lot more than than they know the current I think it was like 150 as of this point I know there's 151 in the first actual season but I think about this episode it was like around 150 ish so anyway I thought it was a really good episode and we get to see like this is all unknown Pokemon around that they don't even know about and how they're trying he's trying to figure this out and wants to learn from them. Um distinct and present day and all that type of stuff, which I think is actually pretty cool. So we get to learn more history about it and how um Bill and Professor Oak know each other and they should get along really well. So 
that's just overall a really good episode. Kind of heartbreaking that Team Rocket messed it up. Like, even James was not really on board with it, but Jesse was like, just do it. So anyway, really good episode, really enjoyed it, and that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode, do you agree, disagree? Just tell your thoughts down below, and do you like, kind of like this setup, like I'm behind a, um, I'm actually standing up and not sitting down behind a, a sofa, <laughs> or in front of a sofa. So anyway, just tell me what, what did you think down below, do you like my setup, do you prefer my other s setup, just let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.